The Shepherd of Hermas is one of those so-called lost books that is absolutely gold. In back in the day, back in the first, second, third century, it was considered by many to be holy scripture. The Shepherd of Hermas was actually included in the New Testament, in the oldest Bible known to man, the Codex Sinaiticus. It was included along with the Epistle of Barnabas at the end of the New Testament. Now, what you got to realize is, back in the days when they compiled the New Testament, they decided to put some of the more important, the more authoritative books at the beginning of the New Testament, and the less, what they thought was the less important books at the end of of the New Testament. So it wasn't chronologically ordered. It was rather ordered according to authoritative power. But the Shepherd of Hermas was also found in another Bible, the Codex Claromontanus. And in that Bible, it was ordered right after the book of Acts. So we got Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, and then the Shepherd of Hermas before the letters of Paul. Now, if you're ordering the New Testament in order of authority, well, I honestly would put the Shepherd of Hermas before the letters of Paul. And that's mainly because the Shepherd of Hermas is so easy to read and it rings true with all of the rest of Scripture. Whereas a lot of people unfortunately use Paul's letters to negate other Scripture, especially the law of God. And some of the early church fathers, such as Irenaeus and Tertullian from the early centuries, said that the Shepherd of Hermas is scripture. We also got Clement of Alexandria, who constantly quoted the Shepherd of Hermas with reverence, as well as Origen. And by the way, Origen held that Hermas was the exact same Hermas that Paul mentioned in Romans chapter 16. But no matter which way you look at it, the Shepherd of Hermas demands attention, and every Christian should know it. And that's the reason why I'm posting a series of videos, an audiobook of The Shepherd of Hermas. I'm going to be reading it word for word. And I hope and pray that it is as much of a blessing to you as it was to me.